Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. Art Hubbard of Hubbard Mechanical is with us again, and I was kind of saying this was our summer grilling, that, you know, ideas mm -hmm. that we were having, but yep. I've decided we're going to call this culinary cuisine with Art. <laughs> yep. Just outdoors. We can, we can do that. We definitely can do that. Summer, summer culinary cuisine with Art, because what you don't hear is when the camera's not on, I'm learning all these things. I'm like, who would have thought? Like, yeah. all this wealth of knowledge about everything food coming from you. Fat guys like to eat. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> all right, what do we got here? Uh, this is lollipop chicken, and mm. it is called that for obvious reasons. <laughs> you get them trimmed up, they look like little pieces of lollipop. Um, all you do is right below the chunk of meat where it comes, you cut all the tendons and the loose small pieces of meat and the skin, and you fold it back, uh, and then you get a knife and you cut it flat, you push the meat down, push it down. I just sprinkle some sea salt on it, no, nothing fancy. And then once it's pretty much done, I will take it off and put it in a pan and I roll it in barbecue sauce. And then you cook it and it gives it a little caramelized barbecue oh. sauce. And so it's like you're eating a lollipop. Mm, okay, well, we'll take a short break, come back and you can actually demonstrate this mm -hmm. all for us. Yep. All right, stay tuned. Hi, Richard Weber here down in the woodland beside our landscape office, also known as the cottage, on the farm here at Springhouse Gardens. One of my favorite plants is an, is an American native called a pawpaw. If you've never seen a pawpaw, it's a really, really fun plant that grows naturally in the woods, but it's equally at home in a full sun situation. So we've planted them down here as a replacement to the Amur or the Tatarian honeysuckle. Uh, that has taken over all the woodlands everywhere in the eastern U.S. So if you want something that can tolerate shade and that will help support local and, and native wildlife, you might think about a pawpaw. Um, we've been uh, growing them down here for about 25 years. It's taken them a long time, but now you can kind of see the suckering nature of a pawpaw. So put it in a place that it has room to grow and you will be rewarded with fruit Yes, actually fruit, even in a shady situation. So these have an unusual flower that's already finished blooming, but we're gonna have a, a bumper crop of pawpaws here in, uh, at Springhouse Gardens. So it's gonna be fun. If you plant it in a sunnier environment, they're gonna look completely different. The leaves are gonna be more hanging down like this instead of here in the shade where they grow out to capture the sunlight and you'll get more fruit in a full sun situation. So if it was out by itself where you could mow around it, it, it won't be a suckering problem like they are here in the woods where we have nothing that we're doing to control them. But they're gonna get 25 to 30 feet tall, very dense, very full in a full sun situation. And here, they're just gonna reach for the sky and get probably about 20, 25 feet, but be a lot more open and airy. So one of the other things that's really cool, and we'll talk about that in the next segment, is what the purpose of this is, and we'll tell you that in just a moment. But until then, you can come out, look at our native plant selection here at Springhouse Gardens. We generally try to keep pawpaws in stock and be prepared. They don't come in looking really big and full. It's usually a plant about this tall in a pot, and it takes them a while to really develop. And it's best to get two different pawpaws from two different sources just to make sure that you're going to get good uh, uh, proper pollination. So uh, until next time, come out and see us at Springhouse Gardens or, or look us up on the web at springhousegardens.com. How do you create the garden of your dreams? The right plants, in the right place, with the right soil, and with our advice. Come see us at Springhouse Gardens, where buying plants is a walk in the park. Comfort Master came in and helped me do an assessment because it's a geothermal unit and he helps maintain the geothermal and he helped give me some ideas about how to insulate the crawl space better to, to create more energy efficiency and the value that they give us is really important and you know if that's a dollar or two higher I'm, I'm okay with that because I know the guys are safe, I know they're well educated, I know they're coming on time and doing what they say and I can trust them. That means a lot. I just had a great experience with Comfort Master. I was the star around here, until Glass Doctor installed this perfect shower enclosure. Now they look at me like, well, there you go. Get a custom shower enclosure that almost everyone will love. Visit glassdoctor.com today. Hi, I'm Richard Weber from Springhouse Gardens. 
Did you know that getting your hands dirty is sometimes a good thing? Digging in the dirt has been proven to reduce stress and provide a sense of happiness and contentment. Come find your happy at Springhouse Gardens. The WKYT First Alert Weather App, alerting you first to inconvenient weather, tracking storms live, and bringing you hour-by-hour -hour forecasts wherever you are. Download the WKYT First Alert Weather App today. Thanks for keeping it here. Okay, so you discussed what we were mm -hmm. supposed to do. Now show us. All right. <laughs> it's so complicated. Make sure your it's knives are razor sharp. That's the key. You grab it and go and kind of just rub it until you, you feel it kind of grinding on that bone. Just keep going around until you make a complete revolution. Okay. And you grab it. Just get it. Peel it. You're going to have some straggler tenons that come out there, so just kind of trim it up. Well, and you mentioned the sharp knife. I've always mm -hmm. been told, too, that, you know, people think that sharp knives are easier, you know, going to cut the skin or whatever or be more painful. It's actually not the, you know, mm -mm. the case. The dull knives will mm -hmm. cause a lot more damage and hurt Yes, they a lot will. And because you're using so much more force that when they do make contact, it goes deeper. <laughs> so, but you just kind of get it. It's not a really pretty thing to do, but just kind of take all the meat off of it. Then you get a different knife, get it and get a flat spot, cut it flat, get it, roll it down until it sits just like that. All right, so then you're just going to, you said salt? Just salt and I put them on a the grill uh, and I also, I soak corn in salt water for an hour or two and I grill the corn as well. Okay, all right, we'll be back here in just a minute. We'll get this all started. So uh, we are in the middle of summer and 4th of July is just around the corner. And so what I've done is I've got a couple of var variations of Americana for me. And when I made these up, I really in, uh, intended that you, you put them on your front door, June, it goes through July, even to August. So there's summer, but they definitely represent the best of America. And so what I'm gonna do today is make a third version interpretation of what these baskets are. And so what I'm gonna start with is my little basket and I've taken a piece of styrofoam and then you see this white stuff that's that spray in foam insulation you buy that at Walmart you buy it at Lowe's Home Depot and you spray this foam insulation in here instead of putting glue in there um, I use this and once it sets up which takes a lot of bit about a day this styrofoam is not going to come out of there it holds this brick in place so that's a nice little key to making these baskets of how do you keep this styrofoam from pushing down in there it's this foam stuff so with that said, I've started with this really, really bright green um, uh, plant. It's a bush, actually, and I've cut it up. It's called Fat Okuba. And you look at that, and it looks pretty bright and pretty strong. But it's, for me, um, you got to realize you're 100 feet away from the front door that you need to make this um, color stand out. So I'm going to poke him in there. So we're going to start to the side. Got another green. We're going to poke him to the other side. Then we want something coming up the middle. Give us a little bit of height. Look at this, creating a little triangle. Now we want something off spilling out the front. Now we're gonna push it off to the side a little bit. The reason I'm doing that is I'm kind of leaving a hole right there for um, a big bow of some form that, that goes in there. So this is already starting to fill in. So I'm gonna add a few more pieces just because we want this to be pretty healthy. So let's do another one over here and see I'm putting this at a pretty sharp angle once it's all said and done. I got the last piece cut and ready for us. So this is our base of one of the greeners once it's all said and done. And then I'm going to add a different texture and this is called asparagus fern. You see this in pots all the time with geraniums uh, here in Kentucky or I guess in the south, anywhere. So I'm going to cut that apart, have those spilling out. Let me add that part of the puzzle to it and I'll have this filled in and then when we come back I'll start throwing in some flowers and we'll see what you think about what that mix is. See you in just a minute. At Glass Doctor, our trained specialists are experts at fixing foggy and cracked glass. Looks great. You're all set. What we can't fix is your view. Daddy loves you. I gotta get some curtains. Here at Hubbard Mechanical, when we say we only charge you for the services you need, we mean it. We've got the invoices to prove it. This customer was told that the repair was gonna be $1,200 by a flat rate book. 
we were going to save them hundreds of dollars, but we ended up saving $900 because we found out that the parts were under warranty. This is just one example of how we save our customers money during their time of need. So next time you're in need, give us a call here at Hub Mechanical and see the difference yourself. Did you know that most gardeners are optimists? Nine out of 10 gardeners would tell you that their watering can is half full. Why else would a gardener plant a tree that they may never get to sit under? Come improve your outlook at Springhouse Gardens. At Glass Doctor, our trained specialists are experts at fixing foggy and cracked glass. Looks great. You're all set. What we can't fix is your view. Debbie loves you. The WKYT First Alert Weather App, alerting you first to inconvenient weather, tracking storms live, and bringing you hour-by-hour -hour forecasts wherever you are. Download the WKYT First Alert Weather App today. Comfort Master came in and helped me do an assessment because it's a geothermal unit, and he helps maintain the geothermal, and he helped give me some ideas about how to insulate the crawl space better to, to create more energy efficiency, and the value that they give us is really important and you know if that's a dollar or two higher I'm, I'm okay with that because I know the guys are safe I know they're well educated I know they're coming on time and doing what they say and I can trust them that means a lot just had a great experience with Comfort Master all right next steps on our summer culinary cuisine with mm -hmm. Art Hubbard. Yep. Yeah. Um, we've got, I've already got some of these done. The lollipop it's chicken. The lollipop chicken. Um, literally just iodized sea salt. Supposedly has less sodium than regular salt, so that's why I use it. Just, I'm going to have to give you some of my Celtic salt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I do love um, Himalayan pink salt as well. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and he, you would love the Celtic salt. So. Well, we'll give it a shot. I want to try uh, smoked salt. They say Ooh. it was real good for grilling, so now, I've not I, tried it yet. I do know locally that there's some people at some of the markets and stuff sell the bourbon infused mm -hmm. sea salt. Yep. Can't be bad. That's, that's an idea. That's yep. an idea. All right, so. Yeah, we just grab it at that point. We just take them and we go to the grill and then the corn goes to the grill and just like you normally would cook your regular chicken, do the same way. Then right before they get done is when you roll them into barbecue sauce. All right, well, I'll let you do your thing. You All just right. put them straight on there, no aluminum foil or anything nope. like that? Okay. straight on the grate. Yeah, I learned the hard way the other day. I asked somebody, I was like, I don't have any aluminum foil, and they looked at me like, I was crazy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. We'll be back here in just a few. <laughs> well, that was our sixth shot. Hey everyone, this week's Pinterest hit and miss is a hit and super easy, super affordable, super cute, and so many possibilities. You are going to need some flip flops and I found all of mine at one of the dollar places along with all the other supplies I needed. So if you're wanting to do a hello, you would need to get three sets because you need five and obviously we'd have an extra one. If you're wanting to do welcome, you would need four sets because you need seven letters. So just always add one to an even number divide. That's what you're doing. You're going to need some cheap rulers. I got these two for a dollar. I used some scrap ribbon that I had, obviously a glue gun. If you have some popsicle sticks, this might be able to give you a little bit more stability in your wreath. And then of course, some stick on letters, wooden letters. You can paint these, whatever you want to do. There's so many possibilities. All right, so I'm doing welcome here. I've already started adhering my flip-flops to this ruler, okay? Super easy. I wanted to make sure, I already kind of positioned this to make sure that the uh, kind of odd shoe out color is in the middle. And then I'm gonna do these. Okay, so real quick, let's get this done. Now I will tell you on the one that you see here with the hello, I actually started with the um, stick at the bottom of the base just because of the size of shoe. This is a smaller shoe and that's another tip. Make sure all the flip-flops for the most part are the same size because this was considered a 910. This is considered a 5.6. You see the difference that if these are beside each other, um, unless, unless that's the look you're going for, and then I say run with it, but I wanted mine to be very symmetrical. So I needed to get 
all of the same size. All right, so that one's down there. I am using a uh, low temperature on this, so I'm just not having to wait as long for the flip-flops to dry. I'm doing this at a little bit of a slant too, and a little bit of an arch, okay? So let that dry really, really quick. Now, let's talk about the flowers. Normally, I'm like, if you really want this to last, go with really, you know, really high quality flowers. On this one, stick with the dollar places. I'm telling you, these were two for a dollar and they actually clip on. So perfect. I got the sunglasses there as well. And guys, you don't have to do flowers if you don't want. You don't even have to do the stick on letters. You can, you can handwrite these or you could just Throw a couple flowers on like I've done here and not even have the hello. It's just, it's just cute regardless. And the kids will love this one. Okay, so that is pretty dry. We'll flip that over. Now, what I would advise you to do on this is to reinforce this here. Okay, so I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue. Hot glue. And that's where these thick popsicle sticks come in handy. Just giving it a little bit of extra stability. And you could go in and do the same thing here. This is a little bit, you know, where these are foam, they are going to be able to bend a little bit. So you can do that. Guys, this is so easy. Then all you do, you take your ribbons, tie it to this part of the shoe over here, tie the other one here, tie it, make a bow, add whatever you want. It's super easy. Literally, once you get the, you know, get the hang of it and get your position, five, five minutes. So I will post the finished product of this one and give you lots of other ideas through some Pinterest pins. And stay tuned, we got some great ones coming next show as well. This is Richard Weber from Springhouse Gardens. It's never too late to start gardening. It's simple, it's fun, and we can show you how. Come see us at our garden and we'll help you get started on yours. Where buying plants is a walk in the park. Comfort Master came in and helped me do an assessment because it's a geothermal unit and he helps maintain the geothermal and he helped give me some ideas about how to insulate the crawl space better to, to create more energy efficiency and the value that they give us is really important and you know if that's a dollar or two higher I'm, I'm okay with that because I know the guys are safe, I know they're well educated, I know they're coming on time and doing what they say and I can trust them. That means a lot. I just had a great experience with Comfort Master. At Glass Doctor, our trained specialists are experts at fixing foggy and cracked glass. Looks great. You're all set. What we can't fix is your view. Debbie loves you. I gotta get some curtains. How do you create the garden of your dreams? The right plants, in the right place, with the right soil, and with our advice. Come see us at Springhouse Gardens, where buying plants is a walk in the park. The WKYT First Alert Weather App, alerting you first to inconvenient weather, tracking storms live, and bringing you hour-by-hour -hour forecasts wherever you are. Download the WKYT First Alert Weather App today. Here at Hub Mechanical, when we say we only charge you for the services you need, we mean it. We've got the invoices to prove it. This customer was told that the repair was gonna be $1,200 by a flat rate book. We were gonna save them hundreds of dollars, but we end up saving $900 because we found out the departs were under warranty. This is just one example of how we save our customers money during their time of need. So next time you're in need, give us a call here at Hub Mechanical and see the difference yourself. All righty, so you've pulled them off the grill. They mm -hmm. are not finished. No, they got about another 10 degrees to go. Okay, all right, so what do we do now? Now, you literally just get a, get a bowl. I found it's easier to use a bowl than to use a basting brush. But if you want to oh. use a basting brush, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Just grab them, you got a little handle. Just kind of get them, roll them around, nice and wet. Yeah, okay. You just kind of get that and do them all like that. It doesn't take hardly any time to do it this way. I, I think it's actually a little bit faster than using a basting brush. It looks like, and it looks like it's getting coated a lot better too. Mm -hmm. It's getting real good coverage. We'll just do that until you get them all done and then put them back on a grill and then you'll, you'll finish cooking them. And as they're cooking all that barbecue sauce and the sugars and everything else inside there, it will just go there and just caramelize and give it a little, like almost like a candy coating, like everyone wants for a good, 
uh, lollipop. And just straight on the grill, no, no, no aluminum foil yep. or anything. Okay. Straight on the grill. That's that's what I do. I don't. I very rarely put aluminum foil on a grill. A lot of people do, but I very rarely do. Okay. All right. So. And you keep the temperature and everything the same? Mm-hmm. Yep. On a on a pellet grill, I keep it around 300, and I just move it to my hot and cold spots of the of the grill. All right. Well, hey, get busy. We got to eat here soon. All right. We'll go. All right. Stay tuned. Okay. I took this little bush of flowers, which are called rinoculus. I cut them apart and put my little pick on there, and I'm going to stick those in my basket, and I'm going to keep them all very clustered together. Almost reads like a begonia bush in a way, I think. But look at that, how pretty that's going to be. Love that. And then, for television purposes, I went ahead and pre-made my bow. And I'll tell you a little secret that I do is whenever I cut the stem off of an arrangement, I keep this and look what I do. Now, you don't technically have to put this little pick on there, but it helps, and I, since I have this tool, I do this. But basically, it's a big giant bobby pin, right? And I take the center of the bow and I poke it around here. I want to get my finger in here. Hang on, kids. Easier said than done. So see how that comes through the back side? And then I take that and stick it down in the styrofoam. That, and that, I fluff it up and it really, really, really holds that bow in place. And since we're talking about the 4th of July, we've got our red and white ribbon, we've got our stars. Well, of course, I go to the Walmarts and I gotta get me some Americana flags. And you know, this is cute enough. I'm gonna add some more uh, flowers to it, but for our purposes today, you get the idea. But look what this does. I think this, hanging on your front door, says uh, that we love America. And I do. I think we all do, don't we? Ultimately, happy 4th of July. I hope this inspires you. You can find a lot of these things on our website, and it's houseflorals.com. Thank you, guys. At Glass Doctor, our trained specialists are experts at fixing foggy and cracked glass. Looks great. You're all set. What we can't fix is your view. Debbie loves you. I gotta get some curtains. Here at Hub Mechanical, when we say we only charge you for the services you need, we mean it. We've got the invoices to prove it. This customer was told that the repair was gonna be $1,200 by a flat rate book. We were gonna save him hundreds of dollars, but we ended up saving $900 because we found out that the parts were under warranty. This is just one example of how we save our customers money during their time of need. So next time you're in need, give us a call here at Hub Mechanical and see the difference yourself. Hi, I'm Richard Weber from Springhouse Gardens. Did you know that getting your hands dirty is sometimes a good thing? Digging in the dirt has been proven to reduce stress and provide a sense of happiness and contentment. Come find your happy at Springhouse Gardens. I was the star around here until Glass Doctor installed this perfect shower enclosure. Now they look at me like well, there you go. Get a custom shower enclosure that almost everyone will love. Visit glassdoctor.com today. The WKYT First Alert Weather App. Alerting you first to inconvenient weather, tracking storms live, and bringing you hour-by-hour -hour forecasts wherever you are. Download the WKYT First Alert Weather App today. Come from Austin came in and helped me do an assessment because it's a geothermal unit, and he helps maintain the geothermal and he helped give me some ideas about how to insulate the crawl space better to, to create more energy efficiency and the value that they give us is really important and you know if that's a dollar or two higher I'm, I'm okay with that because I know the guys are safe, I know they're well educated, I know they're coming on time and doing what they say and I can trust them. That means a lot. I just had a great experience with Comfort Master. Everyday Kentucky, weekdays at 9 a.m. on WKYT. If you are just joining us now here on Bluegrass Home and Garden TV, Art has uh, been working on some lollipop chicken that he's pulling off now. I'm kind of excited. Also kind of hungry. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, look pretty good. Now you got your little popsicle. Yeah. Now you got a little lollipop to go with it, so. I'm going to let them rest a little bit because I'm not going to burn my mouth. Oh. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. Go. You, you're more than welcome just to go on with your bad self and just, yeah. I'm, I'm sensitive. 
I, I, I got nothing on that. <laughs> nothing. I'm going to let them rest so I don't make a mess. Mm -hmm. But um, so walk us through if people are just joining us, like uh -huh. kind of what we, what we did. What you do is you find right where the bone and kind of it goes to the main muscle group of it. You get a really sharp knife, go down to the bone and go sometimes two, three, four times around it. You peel back the bottom part, take it off the bottom where um, on this little nub piece would be. If there's any loose tendons that are still hanging out there, just take your knife, cut them off there. Then you get your fingers and just kind of tuck it into itself. Get it. I just put salt on mine. You can put it whatever rub you want to put on yours. It's it's personal preference. Then I put them on a grill until they get about 150, 155. Take them off. Just grab a bowl. Put barbecue sauce in a bowl. Roll them. Put them back on there until they get about 165, 170, and then you let them rest and then you eat. All right. Well, that's our cue to take a short break. We'll come back and enjoy. Cooling season here. Energy use is up and utility bills are rising. Managing your heating and cooling system is very important. If you've had it tuned and it is operating properly, other things that you can do are setting your thermostat at a stable temperature and not moving it up and down. Moving your thermostat up and down makes the system work harder to recover than if it were just left operating at one particular temperature. Again, check your filters. Just because time has gone by, they do get dirty, and it is very easy to check and make sure that they are clean and well. We are almost out of time, but mm -hmm. there's always time to take a bite. Yes, there so, is. So, real quick, let's remind people why it's important to utilize this time and cook outdoors. Well, the biggest thing is you don't want to heat your house up. Mm -hmm. um, the more you can grill outside, the more you can do any of the stuff you want to do outside, it just it taxes your air conditioner less. And especially if you have an older system, you're trying to get another year out of it, um, trying to get another couple years out of it. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and um, do all my stuff outside. And especially if you've not uh, had your coals and stuff cleaned yet. So it's gonna be more beneficial for it. I really don't know what you just say because I was, um, I'm pretty sure they probably caught me going, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fan of the lollipops. <laughs> I definitely like the lollipops. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing these for sure. Yeah. If people want more directions on how to do this or mm -hmm. things that we've already done or coming up, where can they get them? They can go on all of our social medias, um, our YouTube, our Instagram, our Facebook. Um, our website has links to it. So we can go from there. All right. Well, I'm going to chat down. We'll see you next time. <laughs>